20-year-old TikToker Zoe Laverne gave birth to her first baby at the beginning of October. However, now she is being criticized for trying to sell photos of her daughter to fans. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. But first, if you can do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And out of the way, let's begin. Zoe Laverne, who boasts more than 2.7 million followers on Instagram, revealed that she was selling photos of her baby for $15 each because while trying to give birth naturally, she had to undergo an emergency C-section and almost lost her life. Attached to a photo of her holding her new baby, she explains further in the caption and says, Thanks so much for supporting us. I dropped some exclusive photos in my link that were extra special moments for me during the delivery. Of course, I wouldn't keep some of my other favorite photos from my fandom, and I'm so excited to introduce you to Emerson. Dawson and I are so excited for this journey and love you all so much. My birth story is a little crazy and definitely wasn't something I expected. I will be uploading a story time soon on the entire situation, but I will explain it a bit in this post. When I was trying to push her out the natural way, my placenta busted and I was rushed into an emergency c-section and almost lost my life but I am so blessed to be here with Dawson and Emerson and I am so thankful that God didn't choose to take me away so soon I'm so blessed I am here with the two people that mean the absolute world to me after having to place her baby in a neonatal intensive care unit and needing to stay there for longer there's no doubt that she probably incurred a lot more hospital expenses than she had expected however the new influencer mom was criticized by some fans for attempting to monetize the birth of her child but during an interview with insider she said that she still thinks it was the right thing to do she goes on to say I knew that when Emerson came early, I was going to be in the neonatal intensive care unit for a while, which means my income from socials was going to be put on hold for a little bit. Selling the photos was a way to make money to pay for her extended stay in the hospital and spend more time and focus on her. Zoe, who also has 21 million followers on TikTok and rose to fame as a teenager, said that most people don't understand the work of a social media influencer, adding that it's her job to make money on the internet. Explaining further as to why she sold the photos, Zoe told Insider, Many celebrities post photos of their children and make a living being 100% available to the public all the time. I still have to work to make sure I can pay for my child while also going to the ICU every single day. A few days ago, Zoe let her followers on Instagram know that Emerson had been discharged from the hospital and said in her caption, our little girl came home yesterday. We love you so much, Emerson. We are so happy to have you home and healthy. And I am happy to know that her baby is healthy and on her way home, but still can't get over the immediate need to monetize your children. I can already see these two starting a family vlog as soon as they get settled in. This isn't the first time that Zoe has experienced some controversy on the internet, though. Back in September of 2020, she was accused of getting a little too close to a 13-year-old fan, and later on, a video leaked showing the pair kissing. Despite denying any allegations of grooming, she admitted to having feelings for him. This resulted in a ton of online backlash against both Zoe and her mother, who had shown support for her daughter online. She really had not been posting much on social media after this incident until she announced her pregnancy in February. As always, though, we would love to hear your thoughts on all this, so don't forget to drop us a comment down below. But for now, I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.